Okay, uh, two days before race day, or test and tune, um, went through three alternators. This is a Power Master, um, got it from Summit Racing, had it in uh, a day, uh, so yeah, um, we're on hour uh, four and a half of putting an alternator on, which um, in my opinion is extremely horrible, but they are literally not the same. Literally different measurements and everything. I just, this has kicked my booty. So, I'm going to put the battery in. Um, it's fully charged now. Uh, if it blows up, it blows up. And if it runs and works and does all that good stuff, um, I'm going to be extremely happy. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be extremely disappointed and sad. Um, but that's just kind of part of it. It is, it is what it is. So, I will get back to getting it on there, and uh, I will bring you guys along if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to come back and be all disappointed and sad. So, um, yeah. Love this. Two nights. I got one more night. Something goes wrong. And call that a win um i don't know if it should be considered a win but hell 12.3 and staying there 12.5 now hell yeah 12.6 i am happy that is a satisfied customer so as y'all seen that it works the alternator works everything's functioning I will come back tomorrow, do some diagnostics with a multimeter just to double check that it's putting out 14.4 volts. Uh, yeah, 14.4. And then double check that the battery is saying what it should. And then that should be it um, for us to go to race or test and tune at uh, Edgewater Sports Park in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, or Cleves, Ohio, whatever you prefer. They're close. Um, we will be there Friday. If this thing doesn't just quits working, I'm going to keep bringing it there. I, after after getting the personal best last time with no mile an hour, because I don't know if the clocks went out or what. Um, but So, I don't know if I showed that time, but it's it's an 11.01. Um, it's, not, it's not fast enough to where I'd like it to be. But there's some big plans coming in the future for you fabrication guys or your do-it-yourself kind of guys. I think you all will like this. Um, it involves an intercooler um, and making one for yourself because I'm poor and I ain't paying high dollar amounts of money for one. So if you want to see that and any more Laguna LS ramp truck content, please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.